Hello, it's Glassy here back with another Tribe video and today we're going to showcase the new Kid Naruto from the current banner and he was the free UR so you could obtain him at 1 star and uh, a quick way to get his fragments besides the FG even if you have him at 1 star is to open all of your anniversary gifts because they have a chance of containing his fragments so make sure to do that and even if you didn't pull them at three stars, you can still get them to five stars and above just from this event alone. As you can see, um, we have him already at five and we haven't really opened any of the boxes so far. So this is just from FG alone. So make sure to do FG as well. There'll be a consistent source of fragments. And his weapon fragments can also be found in the boxes, which is important later on for LB2. And um, we still have a lot of time left in the anniversary, so a lot of players will be able to get him to 6 star plus. And he's actually a really good unit, as you'll see later on in the video. So make sure to do some of the tips that I showed you guys in uh, my previous Tribes video, including uh, refreshing your stamina and such, so you can farm the boxes. Here we go, this is his 5 star art, obviously it has his doppelgangers because he uh, used the doppelganger jutsu a lot when he was a kid and I think this is a really cool art just because you know it's a, it's pretty dynamic, it shows his jutsu in action and it has a lot of cool you know, um, facial expressions and such. And he is a URD unit so keep that in mind when we're looking at his stats. As you can see, we have a high guard rate and um, guard damage reduction rate, crit critical suppression rate, so those are important defensive stats. He also has high offensive stats as well, including damage increase rate, um, critical rate, and critical damage increase rate. So overall, even though he's a tank, he actually has a really good balance of stats, so he can nuke pretty hard. Now for link bonuses, we have him, Sasuke, the kid version, and Kakashi, which obviously makes sense, Jirai and Tsunade as well, and Zabuza and Haku. And the last link bonus is interesting because this Naruto and Sasuke banner is actually from the Land of the Waves arc when they fought Zabuza and Haku, so that's why they're link bonuses. And if you see the tribe special he has uh, later on, you'll, uh, you'll see why I mean. And now for yeah the tribes. So we have one where he's basically with his other forms. So he's like the young version. Then there's the um, the young adult version, and then the adult version lowers one enemy's damage reduction rate by twenty percent and deals one hundred percent plus two hundred forty percent damage single target. 60% chance of stun, which is just kind of strange for Naruto because he's not like a lightning user usually or any sort of stun based user. So, you know, they should have given the stun to Sasuke's tribe special. But either way, this is good. Um, stuns are always good. Boost all allies' damage increase rate by 16% and damage reduction rate by 18%. So, you know, they're making tribes better nowadays. Just, um,. But a lot of the tribes they've been making recently are good, but there, there are still those top tier tribes that you, sh you would rather use. And I'm talking about the ones that were, you know, kind of slept on in the beginning when tribes were released. So like the Borto Sarda Mitsuki one, um, Adult Sasuke, Mama Sakura Sarda, like tribes like those are the top tier ones, but Eventually, I can see a lot of tribes having more use. And here's the one with him and Sasuke, where they use a Demon Wind Shuriken. Um, like the exact same move they used in the anime against Zabza. So it deals the single target damage, has 100% chance to confuse, which makes sense because it's the Demon Wind Shuriken. 
lowers all enemies damage increase rate by 18%, boosts all allies critical rate by 20%, and boosts all allies guard suppression rate by 30%. So this one's good as well, has good effects, but two man tribes are not going to be as good because they mess up your rotation. So people don't really use two man tribes too often, unless it's for a very specific purpose. So this is uh, what we have right now, level 93, tier 17. And here are his skills. So we have his first skill or the Jutsu, which deals um, the power creep single target damage to one enemy. And if the target is an attack shinobi, it'll deal 33% extra damage, which is actually a really hefty amount of damage. Then it boosts all allies damage reduction rate by 20% and all allies guard rate by 29%. So both of these boosts are very significant and they also affect all allies. And you know, nowadays there are a lot of units that are getting better effects and he is one of them. So just expect your team to have much more survivability. Jutsus are definitely more important in today's meta um, just because of all those chakra generators. So, you know, I, I value the Jutsu highly. Skill 2 I value a lot less highly now just because people don't use skill 2s too much unless it's specifically for PvE where you have to switch out of your Jutsu to use it. But yeah, his Jutsu is really good for defense. It definitely reminds me of Killer B. Um, I'll compare it in a sec. So skill 2, deal single target damage, boosts all allies damage reduction rate by 14%. So this is actually one of the better skill 2s. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. You know, Extra defense always helps. You can never, you can never go wrong with extra defense basically. Here's his skill 4, boosts all active allies damage reduction rate by 26%. If he's active at the start of the turn, boosts damage reduction rate by 24% for him and all allies in the same man's cell for the rest of the battle. Boosts guard rate by 26% for him and all allies in the three man cell for the rest of the battle. So this can be a little confusing, but this first sentence basically is a boost that happens whenever he rotates in. Basically to whoever is in the current rotation with him. Now the next two sentences occur at the start of the game, basically, or the start of the match, where he boosts the three um, units in his cell. So for example, if you put him in energy, then the energy cell gets the boosts. And that's actually a very significant amount. Like if you just stack the beginning 24% uh, boost plus an extra like 26% boost. That's already 50% damage reduction rate increase. Like if he rotated in immediately. So that's actually really insane. And if you think about it, there are units that you really want to protect um, in PvP and PvE as well. This is mainly the chakra generators and some of the really powerful buffers. So for example, if you put him with Psy, then that would be really OP because you know, Psy gives so much chakra, and if you keep him alive, then you just um, grind out your opponent's team, and eventually you'll have the advantage if they can't defend their Psy as much as you defend yours. So yeah, you know, this guy's got all the defense you can ask for, basically. He can boost all allies with his Jutsu. He can significantly boost all of his active allies, and his cell. So you can really manipulate how his abilities work in order to uh, properly protect the units that you want to. Um, now for limit break, we have boosts guard damage reduction rate for user and all allies in the same three minute cell for the rest of the battle. So, okay, so this occurs in the beginning of the battle as well. Keep in mind from his regular fourth skill that he increases guard rate by 25%. So now he's also increasing guard damage reduction rate. So basically whenever your guard rate pops, this is the amount of damage it can block. And yeah, comboing those two together is really good. So it just makes your cell that you put him in really defensive and hard to kill. 
And you know, another reason why this unit is actually really good nowadays, just because speed is such a big factor in arena because of who can go first. If you can defend your team from stuns, like let's say with the Hidan or some other defensive um, status effect rate decreasers, like Sasri maybe, if you can prevent your team from getting stunned, and even if the enemy is faster than you, if you have like tanks like Naruto on the team that just really protecting your units, you should still be able to win with the speed disadvantage just because you can tank the hits. So. That is one way um, you can try to counter a speed disadvantage because, you know, there are always players on every server that have so much speed that you can't beat. Sometimes, you know, the only thing you need to beat is just tanking. Uh, where does Killer B? just want to show Killer B really quickly just to see, you know, how they compare because they have a lot of similar stats. So he's also, okay, so he's boosting guard rate and guard damage rate with his Jutsu. And he gets the um, extra damage when his own HP is 50% or above, which is not as good as Naruto, where he can target A, uh, nukers, and deal extra damage to them. And um, I feel like that's really useful because Nowadays, in PvP, people will have a lot of powerful 8 nukers that need to be defended. So if you can nuke them down early, then they lose out on a lot of damage output. Now, for his fourth skill, he's boosting damage reduction rate. At the start of any turn, after an ally has been defeated, boost all active allies' damage reduction rate. So yeah, it's kind of like switched, but Naruto is just better than Killer B. He doesn't have any of those special conditions that B has. I'm pretty sure he actually, yeah, he gives more percentages on his defense boosts and he also just does more boosts overall. So I'm sorry to people who have been upgrading Killer B, like you, you get this Naruto for free and he's just gonna outshine him. Um, you can try replacing another tank for your Killer B if you really want him, but there are better tanks as well. So we want Naruto now, because he's a really good tank. Um, Sage Majoraya, really good. Hidan's super slept on. SR Heavy is still really good, just to interact with the status effects. Uh, same with Sasori, so. A lot of good tanks nowadays that you can use. And he's free, so keep that in mind. Now, let's quickly take a look at the team. So the idea here is I had uh, Naruto with Sai as well um, because, you know, Sai is that important chakra generator and Naruto just gives so much defense to the energy cell right at the beginning of the battle and also later on uh, as the battle progresses with his other skills. Same for Kisame. Like he also is a chakra generator and he has a lot of good buffs. So I wanted to keep him protected as well. So these are kind of like the really powerful support units that I'm protecting with Naruto. And overall, I think this team is actually pretty well set up or just the cell idea itself. So, you know, if your team is losing because you're losing your Psy or your other important units, think about doing that. Um, and here's a really good example of what I'm talking about. So we have Rogue here who is really far ahead of us in speed right now, um, I think. So I can show you guys what I mean by overcoming a speed disadvantage. Okay, not that far ahead, but he's still faster in every single cell. So, uh, as you can see, Naruto's fourth skill triggered already, boosting this entire team with the defensive buffs. Yep, now they're tanking the hits. Nice. Basically not, not even like 25%. His energy is also, also really tanky, so this is basically just an exchange. But it does power up uh, Kisame's chakra, so you can Jutsu. Um, now, what happens here? This is not going to be too interesting, but... Yep, as you can see, going first does allow you to take out units, but... Luckily, our, your heavy was able to do so as well. 
As you can see, Naruto skill does not appear um, during the last two rotations because he uh, his fourth skill appears when he's uh, rotating in and also at the beginning of the battle only. There's Sasori, yep. As I said, yeah, some of the better tanks. Mei and um, Kieran do a really good job at shredding tanks, as you can see from here. Nice. Okay, here's Naruto's active fourth skill, giving you know, the damage reduction, I believe. Yeah, now he's going to Jutsu, so we can see what happens. Um, if I recall correctly, it should also deal extra damage to A units. Uh, I think it increases damage reduction rate and guard rate also, so keep an eye out for that. So he has T Itachi, which also nukes tanks pretty hard. Luckily, we only have one tank here. And the D units don't really do any damage to my cell now, as you can see. We just tank everything from his cell. Now Kisame will be able to increase critical rate and stuff. Nice. Yep, critical rate, damage increase rate. Sai just there for chakra, but you know, he can choose you as well. Also T Itachi is just super tanky. And also, yeah, this Jutsu animation is really cool. You know, if you watch the anime, you'll know why. Damage reduction rate and guard rate up, you saw that? And that cell is not really meant to kill, it's more meant to protect the support units. So, <laughs> our energy cells have just been trading blows without any casualties. Um, and this is bad. So he is going first again with three stunners and two nukers. So my units are probably going to take a big hit. Okay, so he got stunned and killed, okay. So it's better that he got killed there. But unfortunately, we got Mei stunned as well, so it's just up to Six Tails, who gains damage over time, so he just wiped his entire cell. So yeah, defensive buffs really help this um, speed deficiency. Like, even keeping Six Tails alive, he can just 1v3 as you saw. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, Naruto got stuck, so he's not going to trigger his fourth skill this time. This shouldn't be too interesting though, because, uh, yeah. Uh, Mei helps increase status effects too, which is why I put her with Kirin and Kakashi. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like he got killed, unfortunately. Here we go. Here's the, another fourth skill proc. Look at all those defense uh, red arrows up. Now, we're probably going to trade blows again here. Yeah, we're just trading blows. If we can target Sage Mujiraya, this is help. Oh, okay, never mind. Kisame will nuke this uh, Danzo, though, from type advantage, I think. Oh, never mind. There's just too much defense for both of these cells. Yep, we're just trading. Size Jutsu gives chakra up too, so more chakra is always useful. Guard rate up, damage reduction rate up. Man. Also, you notice that uh, Kisame didn't trigger his fourth sk skill, the limit break portion, because it has to be when a new uh, enemy, like whenever an enemy dies. So every time an enemy dies, he triggers it once. So an enemy just died, so there you go. More chakra. So yeah. I mean, at this level, when it's super tanky, um, you might not be able to get a like a true showcase of how much damage Naruto can do just because we're just tanking each other's hits like it's nothing. So yeah, I mean my, my rotation got completely messed up and I still pulled it out. Um, 
even with the speed disadvantage, just because I tanked everything. I outlasted him, basically, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, look. Scar takes no damage. But yeah. As you can see, the main turning point was when it when I was able to protect my nukes. So most of them were able to jutsu off once, at least. Um, even with the speed disadvantage, because of all the chakra that was generated. And yeah, I hope that like showcases what Kenarto is useful for. I, it's not like a super nuke damage showcase. You can probably find that somewhere else, like Payne's video or something. But yeah, the team idea is what's important here. Like the concept of protecting your most valuable units. Yeah, and yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool team example if you want to think about it on your own. There's, there's also good protection from T Itachi. Just remember, yeah, he's still a really good unit. I'm going to five star him on my main because I was finally able to pull him at four stars from those free summons. So always do your free summons because you'll get a lot of useful units that you weren't able to pull during their actual banners. And you can probably uh, use some ER frags and stuff if they're actually really good. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something.